Rogers with Livingston and Ted Jellard too. And our host, Fitz and Lando, and he brings it to you. <laughs> creature features and all creatures. What is 218 centimeters tall, or seven foot two inches for our friends here in the States, and wear suede moccasins in a furry toga for clothing? If you guessed Egar from 1962, you are absolutely correct. Oh, not that travesty again. Didn't we just show that film? Not at all. It's been quite some time. Oh, thank you. Tangella says it's been 1,148 days since we've shown that film. More precisely, 99,187,000 and approximately 280 seconds since. How in God's name do you do that? Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. Over to this side, we have my cantankerously stylish butler, Livingston. And you've already met my matron of maximal mathematics, Miss Tangella. Have we an incredibly awesome show for you tonight? As mentioned at the commencement, we'll be watching Igor from 1962. We won't lie to you. It's an absolutely stupid film that was made on a shoestring budget. But since it stars Richard Keel, and that poor bloke is now dead, we shall present it with the reverence and respect that we would give to any Kubrick film if we were in a position to afford said film. Which, coincidentally, may not be too lofty of a goal now, because joining us tonight will be our newest sponsors for the show, Rod and Daniel from DoorTech. These fun lads are all Creature Feature fans from the Bob Wilkins days, and they'll tell us about what it was like growing up watching horror films with Bob, chime in about tonight's film, and they might even chat us up about some of the incredible doors they've opened for some of the largest tech companies in the San Francisco Bay Area. So don't go away, because it's going to be another night of caveman chasing fright right here on Creature Features. I wonder if they could repair the broken door leading to the cellar. I somewhat rather doubt it. That entire cellar is haunted. Stay tuned. Portions of this program are sponsored by DoorTank, distributor of quality commercial doors nationwide. Welcome to Creature Features. It's that time of the week that you love, that I love, and I think Rod and Daniel from DoorTech Love as well, right? Absolutely. Oh, I'm How with it. Blokes doing great. These, Absolutely fabulous. These guys are our newest sponsors, and they make like door things, right? Yeah, those thingies. Those things that you need to open. That to you get gotta into walk a through with a every knob. day. Oh. Yeah, the 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 or lever a lever. thing. Yes, a lever, yes. right now, and then one door opens and another one closes. No, one door closes and another, another one, opens. one opens. Right, right. So we're going to be hanging out with these guys tonight, and we're going to be watching E. Gaw from 1962. Have you guys seen this film? I have not. I did. Well, so I've seen it, and I don't remember it. So I'm somewhere in between the both of oh, you okay. here in seeing it, but not really remembering it. So we're going to have fun, right? Absolutely. Gonna we're going to watch this film. We're going to talk about All what right. these blokes do and uh we're gonna uh read mail and tangelo is gonna come out at some point but we don't know when so uh what do you say we start the film when we come back we're gonna talk some more with you guys let's do, do it. it all right off we go to 1962's egar you guys do not go away
Roxy, what are you doing in town? I thought I was supposed to meet you up at the club. Well, you still are. I just bought myself a new swimming suit tonight. Oh? Yes. See? That? <laughs> well, I get off work in ten minutes. Follow me out then. Follow you? Listen, I can change clothes and beat you out there. <laughs> That's my girl. Her father's Robert I. Miller. Writes all those adventure books. You ought to see her swim. Hey! Gee, I sure am sorry, sir. I guess I was thinking about having dinner with my girl. She lives up at the club. expect anyone to, did you, Miss Millet? Why not? It's the truth. Honey, a uh, prehistoric monster is a rather large order to swallow. Dad, I didn't say he was a monster. He was a giant. You know, a caveman. A club and all, eh? Yes. What my daughter saw, she saw. Now, let's just let it go at that. Okay. But if you see your giant again, let me know in time to take some pictures. She will. Dad, you don't believe me either. Roxy, of course I believe. I believe you saw something. Well, I saw a giant, a prehistoric giant. How about it, Tom? What did you see? 
Like I told you, Mr. Miller, I wasn't there until afterward. Tommy Nelson, I know what I saw. Sure, Roxy, but I mean giants. They were giants. The Bible says so. Yes, it does, in, in the book of Genesis. Something about in those days, giants walked here. Well, then. Maybe we can get some flashlights and go out and take a look for ourselves. Huh? No, this thing can wait until morning. Now, you kids go and take your swim before the pool closes. In the morning now. It's a promise. Dad still doesn't believe me. Sure he does. And neither do you. I swear on my Elvis Presley LP. How big did you say he was? Oh, bigger than anybody you ever saw. I bet you were scared, huh? A little. But I had the funniest feeling he wouldn't hurt me. Yeah? In fact, I thought it was kind of cute. Oh! Imagine the whole thing? No. Now, let's be realistic about this. You said yourself that you think. Isn't it possible that you dreamed this whole idea? No, Dad, I didn't. There was a giant. Now, I don't want to call this story of yours a lot of foolishness, and I haven't so far, have I? No. But if there were a giant, if anyone at all Mr. had Miller, been here... Come here! What'd you find? I don't know. It sure looks like a footprint, though. Let me see. Yeah, look, there's the heel, and there's the toes. Look at the size of that. It must have been made by that. Say it. A giant. What did I tell you? Find the big boy himself for if you feel like that. He left the road right here. Watch out for snakes. Oh! Better go back to the car. No! He's my giant! Holy cow, he was standing right here watching us. Then he turned and took off her. Shadow Mountain. Do you suppose that's where he lived? It's possible. That would account for his never having been seen before. It's too bad we didn't bring the doom buggy. We'd go after him. What for? I to get some pictures. Maybe even to bring him back. A lot of people aren't going to believe this giant jazz. No, we're not sending about this, you understand? Why not? After the way everyone laughed at me. Your turn will come. I'm going up on Shadow Mountain with a camera. Are you going to write a book about the giant, Mr. Miller? That's the idea, Tom. I'll take you up there. My doom buggy's all ready to go. No, thanks. It is. I just gave it the works. There's no offense, son. But I'd like to take this trip in something a little bit safer. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com.
Welcome back to Creature Features. We are still watching Ega from 1962 with Rod and Daniel from Door Tech. How are you folks doing? What do you think of the movie so far? It's starting to pick up. Well, it's exciting. Know, if she had hit the Ega character, I think it would have been a nice beginning for the film. You know, have some special effect where like the car smashes in, but he's fine. Like some superpower. That's like right. a caveman Terminated. superpower. Yeah. He could have caved yeah. in. Caved in. <laughs> now this man's been trained in official humor school, I think. All right, so you're telling me you watched Creature Features as a kid. You know, I absolutely did. I watched it back in the days with Bob Wilkins. Bob Wilkins. You and knew we knew him you know, well. I remember when I was six years old, um, the first movie that we watched was Abbott and Costello. Meet, Meet Frankenstein, Frankenstein and that just it hooked me from that on. I'm right. I'm so excited. Right. Yeah. Now, did you switch over to the the uh, John Stanley days? As oh well? yeah, we followed John Stanley. We've got John coming in a couple of weeks. He's oh, that'll be great. Be a guest. Yes. No, we've been trying to get him for some time. You know, he's busy. I mean, he's he's getting up there in the years, and he's still writing books. Onward. He's a pretty yeah. sharp guy. No, he's great. Now, what about you? You grew up in Chicago. I did. In the Windy City. Windy City. Yeah. And what did you watch? Well, we didn't, uh, <laughs> we didn't have a television, but we had a radio. And we watched a lot and listened to a lot of Wolfman Jack. Wolfman Jack. Oh, yeah. Wolfman Jack coming back at you. You kind of look like Wolfman Jack. You know, I just learned recently that he, he broadcast from Mexico. I didn't know that. He did. No, there was something about uh, transmitters. He wanted to reach as many people as possible, and he couldn't do it in the United States. So he, it was just like right over the border. He would drive in <laughs> like five miles, go to this Mexican radio station that was just illegally broadcasting very high power. Wow. wow. So no television. That must have been an interesting childhood. It, it, it was very interesting. A lot of Frisbees and yo-yos. Right. And my loved my, my banana seat bicycle and playing cards, sparkly green seat right. in the flag. It was awesome. Yeah, that was... Times were better back then, weren't they? Yeah, simpler. Yeah, I think I think kids spend too much time on like a screen. They do. Yeah, they should be out with a banana seated bicycle. I, I would agree. Yeah. It I would fit in. The color scheme I, would work now. It, it would now. It's it's <laughs> it's so old it's in, or it's so out it's in. I think. I don't know. Anyways, what do you say we get back to this film? Excellent. All Let's right, do it. Back to Egon. We'll see you in a few. Stay with us. I'll see you in about two days at the most. Well, please take care of yourself. Now, my credit cards are in the desk drawer. You make sure you leave them there. This thing's supposed to be safer than my dune buggy? All right, Kruger, let's go.
Now, don't you forget, I want you to meet me at the mouth of Deep Canyon tomorrow at 4.
Dad'll understand. It's just one of those things. Just a minute, please. Do you know where Deep Canyon is? Yeah. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I've been there lots of times. Why? Don't worry, Mr. Kruger. I'll take care of it. Yes. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. What's up? That was Mr. Kruger from the airport. The helicopter blew a gasket or something. He won't be able to pick Dad up. At Deep Canyon? Yes. No problem. We'll get the dune buggy and we'll whiz right out there. This is whizzing? Wait till we get off the highway. Hang on to your charter belt. There's no run here. This is what the buggy was made for. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Feature. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories.
Welcome back to the show. Ron and Daniel stepped away for a moment so we could do mail. Actually, they stepped away so she could have a chair because, uh, you know, it's frightening when she sits between two people. They don't know what she's going to do, do they? Now, you, you'll do bite we. them in things and pinch. She's so mean sometimes. But uh, we'll be right back with them soon. But let's see what we got for mail, Mr. Livingston. What do we got? Oh, a big box. Is this the letter that goes with the box? Corey Kruger. All right, Corey Kruger. Baltimore, and Maryland. That's, this is the one with all the stuff, right? This has lots of Give stuff. Give it to her. Let her open it, and I shall read the notes. Your stuff. Oh, and it's a long letter, so you'll have time to unpack. All right. This is from Corey Kruger in Essex, Maryland. You know, there's an Essex in the UK. I bet you the one in Maryland's nicer. It doesn't have as much pollution. I could be wrong. All right, he goes, uh, Dear Creature Features, I felt compelled to write to you, and I'm so happy to support your fun program. I can see the passion and effort each one of you put into every episode. You know, she's putting a lot of passion and effort into opening this gift box you sent. I, I hope you do read those books. You know, a lot of times she'll just look at the photos. Uh, I should, should read, read them. them. All right. Uh, every segment is solid. I laugh a lot at your banter during the fan mail segment. As a fan of the genre, I thought I had been most, I had seen most horror movies, but you continue to surprise me. I also enjoy engaging in the chat, joining fellow fans with humorous commentary while watching live. He's talking about the YouTube thing where people go and they chat. Have you seen this yet, Livingston? The chat. Where they do the chat, yes. Yes, I've seen that. Ooh. It's very busy. No, it's fun. They, they talk about things other than us. They talk about the weather and things like that. They use vernacular that I'm not familiar with. No, no, they just use four-letter words that you're not familiar with. I wanted to return your kindness with some fun items. You'll see that there are gifts included for all of you, and it was tough yet fun finding and guessing what you all would find interesting. Well, you better not, like, take away any of my gifts because he put gifts in there for me. Uh, here's to your continued success, Vincent, Mr. Livingston, and Tangela, and the CF crew. Thanks for being there. Well, that's a, quite a nice note, Mr. Corey, and thank you for all these gifts. This is like Christmas Day, which is a good thing to have on in July, right? In Christmas July. Week. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it looks you like know, Tangela's I hope, sister. I hope that replaces the creepy baby because I'm, I'm growing a bit weary. Indeed. Of that hideous thing. Nightmares. All right. Well, while she's still unboxing, we've got more mail, right? Yes. Let's see what we've got. I'll give you this one back. Ouyaloup, Washington. How do you say that? Ouyaloup. Ouyaloup. I believe it's Indian or something. Right. Right. Native American. So yeah. I would have said Payala. Payala. Maybe they could write and tell us which one's right. All right, this is from James Logan. Palyup, Washington. Oh, everybody's handwriting notes now. Oh, this is wonderfully clear writing, though. All right, to the Creature Feature cast. The cast, does he mean like C-A-S-T-E cast? I don't think so. Mm. We just wanted to drop you a line or two to say how much we enjoy your show. Well, we enjoy your letter. It's quite unique. We've got a couple of questions we'd like to ask you. <clears throat> Is the show done right in your home, and do you really live at Bodega Bay? Maybe see the ghost of Rod Taylor or Suzanne Plachette. Oh, that's from that film. Hitchcock. No, something like that. Uh, so, yes, it's in our home, and yes, it's in Bodega Bay. <clears throat> Uh, Tangela is far out, literally. Is she your wife, girlfriend, or just your sidekick? How old is she? She looks tiny. Um, no, no wives, girlfriends, anything for me, and certainly she would kill whoever was on the other side of that equation. And uh, sidekicks, you, you like a sidekick, right? She's kicked me in the side before, so I think a sidekick is an appropriate term. And yes, yeah, she's tiny. How tall are you? She's puny, not tiny, puny. All right, uh, number three, Livingston's far out too. How tall is he? Looks tall. How tall are you? Two meters. Are you more than two meters? No, two meters. Two like what, British meters? 
European oh, meter. What are you an American? It's an American audience. Six four. Six foot four. That's that's quite a tall drink of water. He could he could he could play like water polo or something. All right, we'll keep up the great shows and guest fans, Glenn Logan and Sandy Wheaton. Did I read the wrong name? Yes, James Logan. All right, James Logan. Now, wait a minute. You've got me confused here. This says James Logan. This says Glenn Logan and Sandy Wheaton. So I thank the three of you for the kind notes. Is that it? One more. One more note. A card. Oh, it's a postcard. Oh, it's a dreamy Halloween time postcard. Maybe we get a close-up of this. Maybe we can't. And uh, this says, uh, Halloween time tonight upon your pillow. Close your eyes and hide your head. For the fairies and the goblins will be hovering around your bed. You know, it's not quite Halloween, but, you know, I think we should celebrate Halloween in July as well. It's sort of like the halfway point between the two, right? A bit more than so that, we get two. We could get two Halloweens per year. Ah. We, we could call it Ghoul's Night Out. All right, the, this is from Clea and Rinko, and they say, Hi, Vincent Livingston and Tangela. We live in Lompico, California. Just saw your show and loved it. Could you play old Boris Koloff movies like The Invisible Ray or The Man Who Had Nine Lives? That would be great. Thank you for the old horror films. Your friends or your fiends, Clea and Rinko. Well, you know, um, we show lots of uh, Lugosi films, but not too many Karloff films. I think there's only one Karloff film we show, and that was what, The Terror? We're due to show The Terror again, so I don't know if you've seen that one. It's a good one. All right, thanks for writing. Is that it? That's it. That is it for letters. Is that vodka? I believe so. Oh, my goodness. I hope that was in my box. All right, if you'd like to send us an email, send it to the address you see appearing down here. If you'd like to send a huge package of items, then send it to the address you see right here. We'll be uh, right back with Rod and Daniel, but first let's get back to Igor. Take it easy on that water. Well, I don't want it to dry out before Dad gets here. And don't you eat anymore. Okay. It's 9 o'clock. What do you suppose happened? Oh, nothing happened. He's not coming on a bus, you know. You can't expect him to be right on the dot. I know, but he should have made it for dark. Don't worry about it. I'll see the campfire and come walking in on us any minute now. That's what you said two hours ago. Well, he will. Well, if you believe that, what's the idea of the bedroll? Look, I carry all this junk in the buggy anyway, so you might as well get some use out I'm of it. I'm not sleepy. Well, lie down, take a rest for a while. I'll keep the fire going. Hey, what are you doing with that? I always carry a gun in the desert. There's coyotes around a camp. Put it away. We're not playing cowboy. You know, there's mountain lions around here, too. Well, they won't come near a fire. I know that much. And I'm not going to have you take a shot at something that turns out to be dead. OK, OK. I'll put it away in one condition that you crawl in and get some rest. OK. Stand. 
Dad found the giant, or the giant found him? Nah. Giant found it way up in the mountain. Your dad wasn't going that far. I guess not. Oh, it's my transistor. Something's wrong with it. No kidding. Yeah, sometimes a bump starts it off and you gotta. Hit it again to stop it. I must have bumped it again. You must have. Hey, you been at this. We were saving for Dad. What? The stew. I didn't touch it. Well, I sure didn't. And look at... Listen, if he comes back for that club, we'd want to be anywhere around here. Sure it is. Well, I borrowed it enough. Look at the way it's cast. Well, he could have dropped it. Well, then why didn't he pick it up? 
Well, it's broken. It's no good to him. Oh, well, it's also insured. Let's not kid ourselves. Let's not jump at conclusions either. Come on, let's try the next ravine. No, you better stay here. No. There's no use in both of us going. We gotta come back for the buggy anyway. Well, then we'll come back. I'm not going to sit here doing nothing. Oh, women. Look, you stay here with the buggy. Nope. And drive it up to meet me when I give you the signal. That'll save us both a trip. Come on. Well, okay. Ah, uh, the gun. Toss it. Give me a blast in that horn if you see anything. Don't worry about that. Portions of this program are sponsored by DoorTech, distributor of quality commercial doors nationwide.
You know, uh, this film, Rod and Daniel, I think they could have done a better job with it. You do? Yeah. Really? Well, okay. It's not that spooky. It hasn't frightened me in the least. However, I'm told by our director, Tom, that uh, Richard Keel, this is his first role. Really? Yeah. His he first He was discovered showing. by the director in uh, a cowboy bar. No. Bouncing in a cowboy bar. I mean... It, a Bronco? If one bounces on a cowboy bar, you're on the bull, right? Right. I don't know. He was the bull. Yeah. And oh. then another bull. Seven foot two. That's tall. That's, that's a long drink of water, as they say here in the States. Anyways, let's talk about you guys. So, door tech. I, you know, I still don't know quite what you do. I mean, I imagine if I had a broken door, you could fix it because you're techs, right? We could yeah. if it was a commercial. Right. Now, what we do is we do commercial doors, frames, and hardware. We right. do architectural hardware, um, the lever hardware. We do panic bars, closers, biometric hardware. So you do the big stuff, though. You wouldn't do anything like these doors. You do, like, things for, like, the government, the, right? Yes. Absolutely. We right. do things for hospitals, correctional right. facilities. Right. Large facilities, buildings, fire-rated assemblies. So somebody doesn't call you and say, I would like one door, please. They call you and say, we need like 5,000 doors. Right? We need hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of doors. Hundreds of hundreds, so, yes. And then you have to come out and install as well. Mm -hmm. But we also service the one-door jobs. You do? Because service is our name. Ah, service is the name on yeah. underneath. We get the job done. Absolutely. Job and we done. don't play around. No fooling around, no games. And you must be doing well if you can sponsor a travesty like our show. I mean, that's uh, we look we, at it as a privilege be good. to be here. It is a privilege. Absolutely. We have been blessed. The yes, privilege is we are very blessed. much entertained. So you guys have done some big things for big people like uh, Apple. Mm -hmm. You opened some doors for Apple, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And then some of the other. You told me about the other big uh, company that you did. What was the? We did a project for Eight by Eight, and they make. Cubicles. Correct. Right. Eight and by eight yes. cubicles. Right. We did a project for Uber. Mm -hmm. Uber. You know, they won't come out here. I mean, they'll come to Bodega Bay, but they just won't come here. <laughs> oh, I see. Now, we've tried. It's apparently an issue with the road. It's a crazy drive. No. Well, it's, it's not the, the, the road itself. It's like it's apparently haunted, the road, and people see things. And I told you that. I, There's a lot of U-turn marks. That's what it was. Right by our gates. This U turn. We actually got off. lost and had to come around twice. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the place is well hidden. Well, for a reason. Yeah, no, it needs to be. I, I, I wanted privacy when I moved here. So, you know, during the break, we're going to go look at some doors here because I think I should replace all my doors with like nice commercial doors, right? Absolutely. Let's touchless, do it. Right? touchless openings. Touchless openings. Yeah. I don't know if I like the sound of that. We've got too much of that going on with this one. All right, I'm getting the signal. We got to get back to the movie, but when we come back, we're going to talk some more with Rod and Daniel. So you guys stay with us. You guys stay with us, and we'll see you soon. Dad. Oh, Dad! Oh! Oh, are you hurt? I think my collarbone's broken. Here, let me help you. How did you get here? Well, we came looking for you, and, and we're both so worried that we didn't know what to do. No, no. No. No, no. No, no. She's mine. She's mine. He understands you. Oh, uh, we've got a beautiful friendship going. Mm -hmm. 
Take it easy. Dad! Uh, uh, don't do anything to scare him. Me scare him? Smile. Smile. He likes your perfume. Smell all you want. Go ahead. What became of the others? What others? Keep smiling. You didn't come out here alone, did you? No. Tom's with me. I mean, he's out there someplace. Hold still. He's just curious. Hold still. It's Hold real, it, see? Looking. What's he doing? Looking for lice, I believe. Oh, Careful, honey. Take it easy. He won't hurt you. He hurt you? No. I did that myself when I fell on the camera. Dad, I think you better break this up before I scream. Tell him you're hungry. I'm not. Huh? Think of the alternative. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Ed, hungry. What are those? Those are his relatives. They're dead. Yes, apparently for some time. Eager, show, cold, regular, sensual, sensual. Come on, Dad. Let's make a run for it. Yeah, Here, it help. won't work. The entrance is blocked. Oh, what are we gonna do? I don't know, but we'll think it's come. He's telling his family all about you. He told them about me last night. Think how lonely he must be. I know whatever he is, he's a human being. Guests for dinner. How do you do? Well, that one looked like a very important ancestor. Shake hands with him, Roxy. Oh, Dad. Oh, please yeah. meet you. Does he know they're dead? I think so. He just can't make himself accepted. I'm not having any trouble. And how are you feeling today? Oh, that's fine.
I can't eat any more of this. Fake it. That's what I've been doing. Now I'm getting sick. Ega. Is that his name? It might be. That's the word he says most of the time. Ega. Oh, Dad, no. That's all I need now is a good drink of health. Ooh, I don't see how anybody could drink that horrible stuff. I guess it can't hurt me. Uh, make it last as long as you can. It won't hurt you if you're doing something. A prehistoric gentleman, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Well, here's to you. <laughs> this water doesn't make you strong. You have to be strong to drink in the first place. No, no, I, I'm still thirsty. <laughs> Thank you. What is it? Believe it or not, Dad, I'm going to look at his etchings. Oh, this is nice. Oh, no, no, no. This is nice. Let's see what you mean. What is it? Look at this drawing. Mm. It's me in my car. Mm. If you drink any more of this sulfur water, I'll die. We've got to keep him busy. I know. And it's not so bad, as a matter of fact. A little bitter. But it seems to have a certain quality that's good for you. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the sulfur in these walls isn't what's kept these giants alive all these years. You mean these giants have always been here? Where have you seen those before? Exactly. Sure. Same style, same everything. Definitely prehistoric. Yes, I'd say that he and his tribe have always been here. Are there others? No, he's the last one. How can you be sure? I took a good look at his family. From the condition of the shrouds, I'd say if the last one died 50, 100 years ago. How old does that make him? Oh, I wouldn't know, I guess. Hello there, my name is Brian. I'm calling from Santa Rosa. I totally love your show, and I remember watching it when I was a kid, but everything you do is so much fun. Thank you for doing such a great show. Bye.
Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. So, uh, Daniel, uh, what exactly did he say to that girl? Well, uh, he said, wowsy, wow, wow, Roxy? What, what is that? Did you they actually it. speak like that back then? I guess they woozy did. Woozy ah. did. That's incredible. Now, you know cars. I'm trying to identify this car she was driving. It was an MG Midget. A classic. <laughs> That's not the kind of MG Midget I've seen before. Well, it definitely was on the midget side. In size. It was like I the major, you know, the MGs, I believe, were made in the UK, right? Absolutely. Right, right. So tell me about cars. What, what, what do you drive? Uh, right now, I'm driving a uh, Mercedes 63S. I don't know what that is. What does it look like? It's an SUV. Oh, those are, those are nice because you carry things. Absolutely. We is carry it, all kinds and of bodies. things. And bodies. Oh, yeah. well, bodies is yeah. important. Yeah, yeah, Tangela would, would use that. You know, her hobby is grave digging. That is an interesting hobby. No, I wonder it, what time of the day she does that. Oh, she'll huh. do it any time of the day. No, nobody stops her. They know her around here. That's, nobody's going to mess with that girl. That's a but deep she, subject. she uses vintage. <laughs> she has this vintage system that she will not take a body out of the grave until it's a certain date. She won't it take fresh ones. Oh, it has to age like right. wine. Yeah. No, oh. but it can't be too old because okay. there's a stale date as well. <laughs> I don't know. But okay. so you collect cars. I do collect cars. I've had so, over 120 cars. 120 cars. You must have a large garage. I do. So, of all your 120 cars, what was your most favorite? Ooh. I've got to tell you, my most favorite was an 87 Chevrolet IROC Z28 5.7 liter. An IROC Z20? You know, that sounds like something Steve McQueen would drive down San Francisco. Oh. No? A bullet? Bullet. What was the, what was the bullet car? That was a Mustang. Mustang. Oh, and I suppose it was not an '87, was it? It wasn't. No, no. Straight from the movie. Yeah. It was green. You know, I understood it just sold for like an enormous amount of cash. It did quite a lump sum. Like a million plus. A million dollars for a Mustang. And it was beat up pretty bad. Yeah. What, what kind of person would pay a million dollars for a Mustang? Someone who had a lot of money to spend. I would. All right, so what about you? What kind of cars do you like? I'm a car person to get from A to B. A car person from A. You know, that's the way I am too. But I like to go in style. You know, I like like the nice leather seats and stuff. So I've taken a fancy to, uh, to an M4 convertible. M4 convertible. That's yeah. a Mercedes as well. Beamer. BMW. Oh, that's a Beamer. I did not know. Yes. Yes. You know, I should learn more about. I cars. like the wind in my hair. Right, Livingston always drives for me. That's that's what. Yeah, you know, Livingston, I think I should drive more, and you should drive less. No. I should drive you. He doesn't like the way I drive. What about the wind in his hair? Well, you know, he used to have hair. He used to have quite a bit of hair. Very aerodynamic. No, Absolutely. it left the top of his head and it went down to his face. Ah, my. I think it was a genetic thing. All right, so let's get back to Egon. When we get back, we can chat some more with these blokes. But uh, for now, we're getting back to 1962's Egon. Don't go away.
Roxy. <gasps> oh. oh, it's you, Dad. Go see if the rock's in place. He's gone. Now's our chance. It's there. What are we going oh. to do? What can Wait I do? Help me, Dad. I gotta sit down. No, no. Don't touch it. It's got to be tied up or something, doesn't it? There's some aspirin in my gear bag. I don't see it. He brought it here. Must be around someplace. Keep looking. You probably hid it somewhere. Oh, here it is. The aspirin's in that small pocket. <coughs> Give me a two. Drink a lot of water. It'll give you strength. It won't knit bones, honey. It's got to be tied up with something, doesn't it? No, it feels pretty good now. Liar. That's no way to talk to your father. The trouble with you is I spoiled you. You sure did. <laughs> what can I do? Nothing. I'll just sit here. How about if I washed your face? Or gave you a shave? It'll make you feel better. You've got all your junk here. Okay. I'll get his attention. You run and out. And leave you? Do as I tell you. Not this time, Dad. You were lucky last night. He's had time to think about you. I'm not going to leave you to get your head bashed in. My father didn't raise me that way. something else. Make a production out of it. Tame. Hum. Whistle. Come on. Shut the door. Well, that doesn't say much for my sex appeal. 
Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. him with that shaving bomb. job of shaving him, Roxy. There's no way of telling how old that fellow Look. is. Try and get him to move the rock. Mm. 
These smell pretty, too. Where did you get them? Out there? Yes, I really think you should put them in water. I guess you're right. There are plenty more out there. Here, here look at this. Look, look. See? Take it. I'll bet you haven't seen anything like that before. Don't you think it's pretty? Do you like it? Oh. Give him something else. Oh. What? I haven't found anything else. Wait, what? Just down the canyon. I can do it. Go on.
happy. Everything's all right. Dad! He's okay. He's waiting for us. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com 
the official merchandiser of Creature Feature Accessories. Yeah, my hair is just not behaving tonight. I think I should find out who your hairstylist and get my hair done like you. Oh, you actually know him. I do? It's your hairdresser. Oh, well that makes yeah. things more convenient, doesn't it? All right, welcome back to the show. We are watching e from 1962 with Rod and Daniel from DoorTech. I want to ask you blokes, favorite movie? That would be William Castle's 1961, Mr. Sardonicus. Mr. Sardonicus, I've never seen this film. What's it about? It's about a man who actually won the lotto and he got a new smile. Oh, what's so unique about the smile? It's twisted. Oh, and that makes a good horror story. It does. All right. Well, we should try to get that one, right? Absolutely. Mr. Sardonicus, all right. How about you, favorite movie or one that you've recently seen that you liked? One that I recently seen was The Platform. The Platform. I have not seen it. What's it about? Concept. Brilliant. They're, some are volunteers, some are prison inmates. And they're in this long cylindrical octagon. It's over 300 levels. And everybody, as they're getting interviewed and processed into the system, they have to tell them their favorite food. And so mm. on every level, there's two people on either side. And at the top, there is these team of chefs. Incredible men, women all across the world. And from escargot, they make the ultimate dishes to perfection. And they put it on this big concrete slab and it starts at level one and it stays there for a few minutes and the two people get to eat as much as they want. And then it moves down and it keeps going. And if they try to steal or take food, they're punished at each level until eventually the food runs out until the very bottom level. It is the it is phenomenal. Dark, great message. Can't so if you're anymore, at the you're top, to watch. yes, you eat like a king, like a king. Everything you want. And if you're on the bottom, you get nothing. Scraps of empty plates and cups. And who decides who is where? They alternate it. There's no rhyme or reason throughout it. They'll they knock everybody out with gas, and then you get switched. And when they come to, they're on a different level. This is a complicated system. Oh, very complicated. But you enjoyed the film. It was incredible. Right. You know, I, I just watched one last night called The Archive. It was on uh, Netflix, I think, mm -hmm. something like that. And this was a bizarre film. It was uh, about this man making robots because his prior wife who died is being saved in a computer and he's trying to recreate her existence through a robot. And he's got these three different robots with a little piece of a mind inside and they're all arguing with each other. Like It's like having like four wives. <laughs> That sounds good. No, I don't think so. Uh, I, that's I think, a living nightmare. Yeah, I think one robot would do, and you know, one robot that plays chess. Who knows? Anyways, uh, so uh, this film, we got to get back to it. But uh, when we come back, we're going to find out what you blokes are doing next, right? Absolutely. Yes. All right, off we go. Back to Ega. We'll see you at the tail end of the film. Uh.
baby. I just had one. That's all. Just one baby. That's all. I've just had one. One bottle. Hey, baby. You've had enough. Well, I'll tell you when I've had enough. You do me a great injustice. I've had enough. That happens to be one of my favorite ties. But the color. You gave it to me four years ago. <gasps> oh. Why, it's lovely. Are you sure you're feeling well enough to go out tonight? Honey, we've got to go out. Well, it's not anything special. It's just a party. Your whole gang will be there. Yeah. You can't avoid them forever. No. Some of them laugh a little. Well, if I know Agnes Henderson, she'll laugh a lot. What'll happen to him? I don't know, but I'm certain we're doing the right thing. If we were to reveal that a giant actually exists, There'd be a whole army out there tracking him down like an animal. No, they wouldn't. We wouldn't let them. Honey, he's from another age, another eon. Come in. Hello, Mr. Miller. Hello, Tom. Wow, the wow, wow. You sure look swell, Roxy. Thank you. I'll only be a minute. Is something wrong, Mr. Miller? We're just talking about our little adventure. Oh, I see. You do? Well, sure. A girl like Roxy don't get over a thing like that right away. Doesn't. That's what I say. She's got to get her mind off it. And this hop tonight will help. Hop? Yeah, my combo's going to be there. Man, they swing. So I understand. I'm ready. Well, let's split then. Uh, Mr. Miller, I got my dad's wheels tonight. Really? Do they fit on your car? You're funny, Mr. Miller. Real funny. Durr.
This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Hair styling for the show is provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa. Perhaps we should be a little more discreet about it. What on earth are you talking about? Getting as far away as possible from that music, it's a good idea, but we guess here. No, the music's wonderful. I could listen to Tom sing by the hour. And you have. 
I just wanted some fresh air, that's all. Is it, honey? No. Dad, I've got the funniest feeling. What is it? I can't describe it, but I just know something's happened to him. Him? Ega. The giant. Or whatever he is. Something's happened to him. Roxy, look at me. I love you very much. You're more like your mother every day. Every living thing was her personal concern, and she worried about them. That's just it, Dad. But you see, worry isn't the feeling that I have. I don't know what it is. He's a creature. Well, you just have to look at him to see that. He even tried to kill us. But yet... But... You can't get him out of your mind. somebody else. Maybe him, huh? Hey! Where you been? I was belting out a tune just for you in there. I look up and you're gone. We can hear every word, Tom. I said hear, not understand. You're funny, Mr. Miller. Really funny. Come on, Roxy, let's dance. Wait a minute. What's the matter? I thought I heard sirens. Oh, that's Dino's sax. It leaks.
I'm going to dent you. Knock it off. She's my girl. I'm going to smash. Is he real? Who is he? Yes, he was real. It says so in the book of Genesis. There were giants in the earth in those days. Chapter 4, verse 32. And that brings an end to ego. What a way to go swimming, wearing a bullet. That's no fun, is it? Yeah. No. But I think mm. Daniel would look good in that white bathing suit. Yeah. Yes, I would like to that sport would that. Oh. That would be good, a white bathing suit. What would you think of the film, love? She, you know, she, she likes anything with Richard Keel in it. You know, it's just he's so tall, she's so small. It's the dichotomy, I think. That's, that's it. I don't know. So what are you blokes doing next? Well, I tell you, we're going to expand maybe to the L.A. area. And also, LA. we're working with a lot with biometric lock sets. Yes. Biometric? What, what, what in God's name is that? That's the one where we actually use your eyeballs, and it oh, opens doors eyeballs. and closes doors. Yes. Oh, so it looks in your eye and your with iris. a thing and says, oh, you're you. I'll unlock the door now. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, we need that here. She's a bit too enthusiastic about that idea. And Los Angeles, you know, I'm from Los Angeles. She's from Los Angeles. We used to live, we used to live in Brentwood. Oh, that's a nice area. Yeah. No, it's not. That's where OJ committed <laughs> murder. So it's not that nice. But it was nice when I lived there because it was, I lived right next door to Michelle Pfeiffer. She's nice. You she should, is. You should really? build your plant next to Michelle Pfeiffer. That'd be, oh, do you? Get that ugly oh, thing. That is adorable. Yeah, this, it's the most disgusting thing I've Beautiful ever seen. Beautiful eyes. I love the complexion. Yeah. You know, one day somebody is going to shoot you because they think you've murdered your baby. It's terrible. It's an ugly thing. All right, so you're doing that. You're expanding in L.A. It's all good news, right? Absolutely. absolutely. That's absolutely wonderful. So if somebody wants to find out more about your company, where do they go? DoorTechInc.com. DoorTechInc.com. Dot com. Easy peasy. And that's tech with a K. Very bioptic. No, we, 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 we place it right there Perfect. so they can see. So uh, that's absolutely wonderful. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show. I want to thank you for sponsoring the show. You know, You're welcome. We can always use more sponsors because it's chaps like this that make the show better, right? I mean, with all the damage she causes, we need as many sponsors as we can get. All right, you gentlemen have a wonderful trip back, and we will hopefully see you again soon. As Thank far you. as you guys go, uh, thanks for watching the show again. I 
Hope you enjoyed Ega and all guests here. Next week, we're going to have different guests, different movie. I have no idea who, but I can guarantee you she's not going to have that baby thing again. Have a wonderful rest of your week. So, uh, lads from DoorTech, you know, I'm thinking of doing another show. I'm into insects, and I'm thinking insects. about doing a show on slugs. And I'm wondering if you might be interested in sponsoring that as well. No! no.